Today, the city of Amarillo announcing changes to the way it shares coronavirus data. The changes come as the number of cases and hospitalizations in our area remain low thanks to more vaccinations. KMR Local Force Kaylee Green has that story. The city of Amarillo will no longer provide regularly scheduled COVID-19 updates. In this last briefing, they marked a return to normalcy. And it feels so good to be out in the city doing traditional normal events, graduations, birthday parties, weddings, funerals, and knowing that we can be together and we've missed it and now we appreciate it. Amarillo City Manager Jared Miller says if the coronavirus situation changes and more conferences are warranted, they will call them. Miller says they will also stop releasing daily COVID-19 report cards with the last one going out on Friday. Since March 23rd of last year, we've done 309 report cards. Uh, we've had an average of 11,370 people look at those report cards on a daily basis. All of the information on the report cards is still going to be available daily and will be updated daily on emeraldalerts.com. Mayor Ginger Nelson says it's thanks to the vaccine that we have fewer cases. So I would encourage you, if you have not yet gotten your vaccine, please investigate doing that. There's no cost um, and the city clinic is easy. You can just walk right up and get a vaccine. Miller says the city will continue with COVID-19 testing and vaccinations. I'm so very glad that we are through this and um, we've really made history together. The city says starting June 1st, anyone coming to the Amarillo Civic Center for a COVID-19 vaccine will use entrance for testing will continue through Amarillo Public Health. People can still be referred for tests by calling and answering a few questions. Live in studio, Kaylee Green, KMR Local 4 News. Andy. Kaylee, thank you. Since last March, the city has hosted 68 coronavirus press conferences. They averaged nearly 1,100 views just on the city of Amarillo's channel.